Prospa and Desert. This is Old Haven and Deep Dark Forest. Okay. Farm. The farm. Yeah. Neat. Okay. What are you? That's Ash. The Ash moves? Hey there, friend. I'm Cowboy Hat Matt, and it is great to see you today. Okay, so we are starting a new adventure called Potions, A Curious Tale. Uh, I have to tell you, um, no, no, no. There's something I want to say about this, about this game in particular, but we will wait till the end. I want to dive into the gameplay right away, so we can story time afterwards. Now, there's nothing intrinsically horror about this game, so... I'm, oh! Crash! Sorry, I'll get back to that in a second. Ow! Are you alright down here? I think so. My head broke my fall. I think we've run aground. Take these potions of healing and stay below deck. Topside is no place for a young lass. Don't need to narrate that one. That's some very... Very loud ground. Press 1 and right click to drink a potion of healing. What? 1 to select the health. Right click to use the health potion. Okay. 1. And then right click. I did do the thing. Okay, great. Press uh, Wazda to move around. Cool. Can I interact with this? This looks like a thing. Oh, I can't. Okay. Point and click. Got it. Okay. Here we go. So the main character is Luna in a puzzle-based game. Puzzle making. No. Potion making. Puzzle uh, fantasy adventure. Something like that. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's see here. So... Hmm. It's locked. I bet this one is too. Sure enough, Luna. I can't interact with these. And I cannot run. So we're just gonna walk at her pace. Oh boy! Get back, devil flip devil Oh jeez. Let me try that again. Get back, devil fish! I shall have your tentacles hung from the main yard like the slimy. What on earth is that thing? It's the Kraken! You should have stayed below deck, girl! Didn't my other... My first mate or Swabby tell you so? Sinbad. Uh, cool! Oh, I'm gonna get a weapon. I had better not stumble into these weapons. They look sharp. Okay, I'm not gonna get a weapon! <laughs> I... am gonna go back down... Oh, boy. I... Same thing? Yeah, same thing. I'm gonna steer the ship. I'm not gonna do that. Whoa! Oh! Ha ha! Wonderful, dear girl! Taunting that beast into attacking our weaponry is a stroke of genius! Well done! Oh, I'm looking at his health bar right now. It took off so much damage. Alright, do the thing again. Wait, hold on. Uh... Come over here, you big dummy. Yep. Yep. No, 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 no. Right here. Right here. Oh! Get out of the way, Luna! Ha ha ha! You big dumb idiot. Kraken. Watch out for the oil! Don't let it catch fire! How do I... How do I... How do I prevent this? How do I prevent this? Oh, should I have him smack out the fire? Right here, right here. Put out the fire. Put out the fire. Oh, boy! No, no, right here on the fire. Right here. Uh, did that do anything? Oh! I get it. Put him... Put him in the oil. Come on, stupid. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come on this way. Come on this way, you. <laughs> do it, do it. Oh, yeah. That's some calamari for you. Haha, <laughs> you're a marvel, my dear. The beast flees from you as if from the Caliph's Armada. I don't know what a Caliph is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up. A young girl sends the terrible monster back to the depths. The bard shall sing of your great victory. I hardly call that a victory. Nonsense! We are not dead! The ship did not sink! The sun is above and the sea below! What more can a sailor ask for? But this is no time to celebrate. 
Full sail, crew! Onward to our destination! Which is where? Praise to the Most High, we've arrived at last. The town of Old Haven. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's the only port this side of the Wildlands. Attracts all manner of adventurers, treasure hunters, smugglers, and scoundrels. I wouldn't exactly call it a safe passage, but a deal's a deal. Here's the rest of your payment, Captain Sinbad. Ah, but of course. The Arabella always arrives safe and sound. That is, well, she's the first one, actually. What? You mean all your other boats have sunk? <laughs> Why, yes, miss. Do you think we charge so... Why do you think we charge so little for the fare? Family reunion. Find Granny's house. Enter Granny's house. Thank you. Uh, is there anything else to do here? I'm not sure if exploration... Thank you, miss. We would have been lost to the sea without your bravery. Okay. It's just probably fluff text now. Was this standing when we beat the Kraken? Did he knock it down and I just didn't see it? My potions are gone. Excuse me, what happened to this ship? It was attacked by a huge sea monster just before we arrived. Not again. That Kraken is attacking more ships than it did in the past. What brings you here anyway? Old Haven isn't a very safe town. I'm here to study with my grandmother. Study? Yep, my grandmother is this town's potions master, and I'm here to learn the trade. You? Learn the in intricacies of one of the most complicated forms of magic? I doubt you would even be able to grasp the basic concepts. You're just going to get in her way when Old Haven needs her services dearly. Go back home to be coddled and let more a more worthy person be her apprentice. Okay, this is a rival. Uh, oh, that means do not talk to, or cannot talk. Hello, little girl. I think you're really neat. I hope I have magic like you. I'm not sure where she's getting that from, but check out her Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I grew up reading Calvin and Hobbes. I love that. Love that. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, exploring does... Look at this, blueberries. Quick and thoroughly stain... Quickly and thoroughly stain clumsy fingers. Hardy baby... Hardy berries favored by witches from colder climates. Neat. What else we got? Mountain cherries. Mouth puckering choking hazard. Tart cherry from a resilient cherry bush. Neat. Okay. Oh, and more. Thyme. Perfect flavor every time. Versatile herb with culinary and medical medicinal uses. Nice. Okay. Well. Exploring yields. I mean, it is an adventure game, so that that says in. But we need to find Granny's house. Ooh, check it out. More cherries. That's good. I'm definitely looking for Granny's house. Don't worry. This looks like a blacksmith. Also, I can't get there. Also, I want that chest. Okay. This one. Leather worker. Tanner. Ah, this is it. This must be the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it. Um, is there anything else? Hello, strapping young man. St he's just, his name is just Stranger. You're looking for the potions master, right? Her house is just over there. Okay, well, that was a good talk. Um, let's talk to Granny. Hello. Oh, Luna, my dear, welcome! How... my, how you have grown! Nice to see you, Grandmother. Oh, I should give her a different voice. Please, call me Granny. Everyone else around here does. A little bit more proper looking, I think. Now, I understand that you've shown some skill in the craft of potion brewing. I wouldn't exactly call it skill, and I was trying to make some brown dye to color a scuff in the door, and it exploded. <laughs> Exploded, you say? Yes, I blew the back porch right off of the house. Mother was so mad at me. Wonderful, dear. You must have the talent. Go on, tell me how you made this explosion. 
Well, there were some mushrooms around that were almost the right color of brown, so I ground them up. It was too light to match the door, though, so I added a bit of ash from the fireplace until the shade matched. And then... I didn't have a brush, so I found a feather to apply it, and BAM! It blew up the second I touched it with the feather. Oh, a minor explosion potion. Marvelous, my dear, you do have the talent. Now, go collect a mushroom, ash, and a feather. You should be able to find ash and feathers at McDonald's farm. And there should be plenty of mushrooms at the edge of the deep dark forest. Off you go. Can't I just use the ash from the fireplace here? And wreak havoc on my own supply? Certainly not. Go search out these ingredients and come back when you've gathered them all. Alright. Tips. I don't think I need to... Uh, anything else in here? Alright. Um, Mary Muffet. Um, whoops. May I help you? Um, can you please help me collect these herbs? Tap the spacebar to interact with the closest object and collect all har all harvest items around you. Ah, nifty! Thank you so much! Please keep them and put them to good use! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna run out of voices very quickly here. I like doing voices for characters, but uh, <laughs> I can only do so many. Um, okay, something about McDonald's farm, right? I guess we'll try going this way. This way! This way! Farm and desert. This is Old Haven and Deep Dark Forest. Okay. Farm. The farm. Yeah. Neat. Okay. What are you? That's ash. The ash moves? Sorry, what? It just hops around? The darker the ash, the more charcoal it contains. The black solid remains of a fire. Okay, I've got it, but... Can I have more? Uh, don't go- no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Mushrooms, though. Oh, what is- there are books down here. Three? Nope. What is this? Soot Sprite. Small black ball of soot that has come to life from wild magic. Soot Sprites are shy creatures that are rarely found outside of the- Wildlands, as they avoid populated areas, they turn back into ash when their magic runs out. Oh. And turn into ash when picked up. Who knew soot could have a sweet tooth? Is that really what it is? Gobbler. This impressively sized fowl has a bad attitude and prefers to keep to itself. While they are sometimes kept by farmers, they're usually found in the wild. Fowl play at its finest. Bad attitude, big appetite. Ha 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 ha. Okay, cool. And feather. Resting one's head on these is treatment for illness. Just a feather? White and wispy, often used in basic healing potions. Good to know. Oh, I guess you gave a white feather. Okay. Now, mushrooms are going to be in the forest. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Oh. Can I... The entrance to the deep dark forest. We're just don't mind if I do some blueberries and a mushroom, a and a mushroom. No one knows how how related these fungi are to mushrooms. A firm fungus with a distinctive brown cap. Okay. I hear something. Blueberries. Ooh, check that out. Can I go in there? Oh, I can. I probably shouldn't have. But there was no door. What else do you got? Mushroom again. And look, mushroom again. This is an age old tale of just, oh, I was out on the mountainside collecting whatever, whatever, and something bad happened. Like, I shouldn't be doing this. Mm -mm. Nope, I don't even know what that is. Not gonna do that. Okay, I did hear something moving around outside here. Oh, look, another mushroom. And the, 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 the card? Oh, does this game have a collect a collection element to it? 
Other than collecting ingredients, right? That's the necessary gameplay. Oh, this must be snapping. Ivy, also known as Bindwood and Lovestone. A bundle of ivy that can cause irritation. So, would we call that poison ivy? Oh, look at stuff regenerated while I was in the stuff regenerates when you leave the area because that is very handy. That's very, very. I could just, I could just farm ingredients that way. Come in, grab the stuff, leave, come back. Come in, grab the stuff, leave. Can I get through here? It says one. Hmm. It's locked. Okay, I guess not. Oh, Granny, I have the things. Ah, you've gathered all the ingredients. Perfect, let me show you how to craft them. Show me. Okay. This is where you can craft potions by combining ingredients. D -d Do all cauldrons have to have a neon green sludge in them? Could it, could it be a friendlier color? Okay, combining ingredients. All potions take three ingredients to craft. Simple enough. Some will require specific ingredients, while others may only require mana combinations. Don't know what that means yet. Each ingredient has a mana value. Ah! <laughs> the feather you gathered, for example, contributes one air mana. Now let's craft that minor explosion potion. This potion is rare in that it uses three types of mana. Most potions are crafted with only two different types of mana. Combine mushroom with ash and a feather. Okie dokie. Uh huh. Um. Uh. Ash, mushroom, and feather. Craft! Magic! Minor explosion potion. Wonderful, dear. Your very first potion. You can review the recipe for it in the recipe book in the bottom right corner, and you can craft as many as you have ingredients for. Though you made this with mushroom, ash, and feather, you can make it with other ingredients of the same elements, too. Be sure to look for ingredients with different mon mana? 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 Mana. 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 Different mana... Um, be sure to look for ingredients with different mana values in your explorations. Those rare higher mana ingredients can make potions that really pack a punch. Remember, though, you can only carry 10 vials of each potion in your satchel at a time. 10 of each type? Whoa! Okay, well, that was neat. Would you like to equip these potions? Yes! Now that you know how to craft, you're welcome to use my cauldron to brew any potion you like. Just click on the cauldron to start crafting. Speaking of which, would you please pay a visit to Callum at the farm? I fear I lost my stone of recall when I was looking into his dry well. Be sure to take some minor explosion potions with you. Callum has a nasty rat problem there. Aggressive things even st aggressive things even stole papers from my bags. Here you can change your Okay, well we're just doing stuff. Here you can change your equipped potions. How did you get here, Granny? Yep. Well, that's... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yep. Okay. I see you have collected a good amount of potion ingredients. Let's store them for safekeeping. Wait! Oh, okay, fine. I'll store your ingredients whenever you return home. You wouldn't want to lose them if you were to befall troubles in your adventures. That's so true. Oh, equipment. This is where I can do the thing. Got it. Okay, tips. Crafting. Can I do another one? Hold on. Ash. Was it? Yeah, there was only one feather. Never mind. Leave. All right. Well, we can go to the farm and let's just see what we can find, eh? Uh, so ingredients, creatures, and potions down at the bottom there. Neat. Okay. Farm and desert. The farm. Okay, search around. Come here, you little moving ash. Grab, 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 grab it. Okay. What else we got around here? I should have looked earlier. I hear squeaky. Oh, that's a rat. You stay away right now. Although, I do need to do combat with you eventually. Hello, bull. Don't mind me, just collecting things. You leave me alone, I leave you alone. Good, 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 good. Oh, Callum. 
search around farms well. Got it, got it, got it, okay. Uh, you got any ash up here? You do? Oh, come here, you, come here. Yeah, didn't even need to worry about that. What is this, what are you? Oh, ho, ho. I'm smart, I'm smart, go me. And look at all the feathers, yes, awesome. Cool, oh, wait, <laughs> sorry, walking into a wall, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Um, hold the phone. So, what is, is this about the rat? Rat. Long-tailed rodents known for their adaptability and size, which can grow substantially in magic-rich environments, have a penchant for stealing goods for their nests. Rightly feared for their ability to carry diseases. Yeah! Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds about right. Okay, so, around the well. I heard you mention the well. Should I go in? I only have one potion, though, so... I don't know if that's gonna be okay. I hear more rat. Could that rat have stolen Granny's Stone of Recall? Select the potion you wish to use by pressing a number or clicking the potions bar, and then right-click to re and release to throw a potion along the previewed path. You may left-click to cancel throwing. That's nice. Thank you. Ah! No, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, oh! Ah, get out of my way! How dare you! How dare you! Yeah! You got what was coming to you, rat! This must be the Stone of Recall. If it's not, that's a happy coincidence. I can use Granny's Stone of Recall to get back home. Okay, but if... Oh, see? It's a good thing I didn't just do that. <gasps> So much ash, so much mushrooms, and now so much feather. All right, we can make some explosion potions now. Oh, oh I'm gone. <laughs> oh, who's this? Prince Charming. <clears throat> you may have the proper permits, but I'll monitor your use of this vile sorcery. He is not charming. Yes, yes. Oh, Luna, welcome home, my dear. What? How did she get in here? What trickery is this, witch? Oh, splendid. You found my stone of recall. Is she of age to be using such devilry? I'll have you know. This stone will return you to my home from wherever you may travel. Are you even listening to me? I have authority here. My deepest apologies for neglecting your tantrum, my prince. Luna has seen her twelfth cycle of the seasons, so she is of age to use these trinkets and study potion brewing herself. Shall I brew a mood enhancer for you? You seem quite troubled. No, I want none of it. Okay. I'm glad for that. The prince has adopted an interesting approach for his stay in Old Haven. Who is he? He's Prince Charming, the youngest prince of the royal family. No matter. How was recovering the Stone of Recall? <laughs> recall? The Stone of Recall? I had to fight a rat down in the well to get it. Good job, my dear. While we work to save lives, conflict is sometimes unavoidable or even necessary. It is? Do you think toad eyes grow on trees? I fear not, but you'll find much benefit in only killing for what you need to, as force is often met with force. Many things can be gained with other methods of approach. Here, let me enter this recipe for a minor potion of healing in your recipe book to heal you in any future encounters. Your recipe book can be found in the bottom right corner of the crafting screen, down here. Here you can review all of your recipes you've learned. You'll find your knowledge of them may allow you to create them with different sets of ingredients. Yes, yes, I understand. Like the minor explosion potion, this minor potion of healing uses three types of mana. Most potions only use two. You did say that, Granny. If you select the ingredients for a potion recorded in your recipe book, you will be able to craft multiple copies of the potion at once by increasing the multi-craft number to the right of the selected ingredients. Okay. Now, my dear, practice your brewing by crafting two minor potions of healing, delivering one to the inn and the other to the huntsman. Here are the ingredients for them. Uh, okay, potion of healing. Uh, tell me about the multi thing. Wait. Nope. Nope. Go back. I don't want that. There we go. I want... 
I want to make... I want many. How? 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 Okay, but... Craft two minor potions healing. Can I not do it from the book? Okay. Air, water, and mountain. But it's weird that... Okay. Um... Hold on. Can I just... Is there not... I thought she said that there was a thing I could do here. Is this just for... Ah! Yeah, okay, but there's still... Oh, wait. Is this multi-craft? No. Okay. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, look at all this. Oh, she gave me all those herbs? I didn't realize that. All right, hold on. But I want to... Stop. I want a multi -craft. There we go. Two... Three, one for me. Four, now we're getting risky. Craft. Magic! Minor potion of healing. Craft, okay. So, let's save that. Awesome. And we're gonna stop it there. This <laughs> is a fun beginning to a neat little puzzle fantasy adventure. Uh, quick little story, if you'll indulge me. Uh, so, I happened to be reading some gamer news online uh, a couple weeks ago now. Uh, boy, I've been wanting to get to this game actually for a bit uh, earlier this month. Um, it released earlier this month. Uh, and so, I'm going to reference the date, I guess, on the posting date for this video. But um, the thing is, I uh, read an article about how this game was released on the same day, tragically, that a major developer publisher, EA, released a bunch of stuff on Steam. So this game release date was on the same day as this big publisher. This is obviously, this is an indie game uh, created by a small developer and publishing company, and um, or a small developer anyway, indie, indie developer. But um, point is, uh, for these smaller uh, game developers, um, it's important for them, for the success of their game, to be visible on the Steam new and trending page. And this is one of a few games that I understand were doing well or had a few moments on that new and trending. But then when all of the games from uh, the big publisher uh, EA hit... Um, because they're older and there's a lot of nostalgia behind them, people were buying them like crazy, and they moved this game, Potions, and a few others off of that list. Which is tragic for the indie devs because um, they pour... Uh, reading an article from the, uh, I, I think the lead creator, um, lead developer maybe, uh, her name was, uh, I believe her name is Renee Gittens. The article only had so much information. But sad that you know, they put so much of their energy into developing, like, years, years of their life into developing a game, their vision, their, their, their dream, to developing it, and they finally get it out there. They're done with the work, and it's there, and then all of a sudden, the likelihood of people seeing it is pushed away because of sad happenstance, because of a bunch of uh, attention going to a larger company that doesn't justifiably need it okay i understand nostalgia though um so it's just a, an unfortunate occurrence that being said i realize that i don't have a, a bunch of people following me but i do want to give visibility to something that could be and seems to be really good so i've had fun playing this game i'm gonna play for a few more um it's a little break from what I normally do. Not entirely off the beaten path, but it's different. But this is one of those things where I just feel that, you know, so much can get missed so easily. And if I have an opportunity to share and make sure that certain things don't get missed, like a game like this, like someone's dream project, then I'll do everything I can to make sure that it gets out there. And, and honestly, I had a lot of fun with this, and I hope you did too. So that's my bit. Thanks for sticking with me through it. And hey, 
I, I don't know if I'll be able to do the whole game here, but what I will say is, if you like what you see here and you enjoy this, I encourage you to go out and give it a try on Steam, if you have access to it. Um, I, I Like I said, I enjoy it so far, so uh, thank you so much for hanging with me today and indulging me. <laughs> so, thank you so much for hanging with me today and indulging with me. It's always a pleasure when you're here, and until next time, happy trails, my friend.